What is good everybody, it is your boy Super Saiyan Cat back with another Xenoverse 2 modded video for you guys today. We have something brand new to the channel and that is a modded character test. We will be testing Jiren up against Ultra Instinct Goku. Now this is something that I asked you guys about on Twitter and a lot of you on Twitter seemed you want it. And I asked you guys about it in previous video and you guys seem to want it as well. So of course I had to come with this video. So if you guys would like to see more modded character tests, let me know what suggestions you would like to see. Like Kale versus Khalifa, things like that. Let me know down below in the comments and i'll do my best to get to those character tests as well for you but again today we got jiren and ultra instinct goku going against each other in this character test and as you see i have two versions of ultra instinct goku and two of jiren now the two versions of ultra instinct goku are both one mod they're both made by the same person and they just basically have a different stat change and one has the undershirt on while the other does not the two Jirens are made from two t uh, completely different people. I will not be showcasing this one in this character test because as you see his stats really just don't compare to the Ultra Instinct Gokus. As were this one right here, his stats definitely do compare. They're exactly the same stats as the first variation of Ultra Instinct Goku. So I'll only be using this Jiren in the character test today, but we will be testing both versions of Goku because he gets a lot stronger with this variation of the Ultra Instinct. So again, we got Jiren going against joint. Damn, I can't talk. Jiren going up against Ultra Instinct Goku. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, guys, we're gonna get this started with Jiren, and of course, we had to have this character take place on the Tournament of Power stage in the World of Void. I mean, it's only right. But we're gonna get this character to start the same way as always. First, start now with the All Light combo, and Jiren's All Light combo, which is cells, really. Will do a total of 3,576 damage, while his all heavy combo will do a total of 3,900 damage. Now we're going to get into some light and heavy combos. The first one is... This combo right here, guys, is 5 light, 3 heavy, doing a total of 4,765 damage. The second one is... This combo right here, guys, is 6 light, 3 heavy, doing a total of 4,587 damage. And the last one I'm going to show you guys with Jiren is... This combo right here, guys, is 6 light, 2 heavy, 3 light, doing a total of 4,731 damage. Now we're going to showcase his grab. Jiren's grab is going to give you a total of, damn, 2,310 damage. That's the strongest grab I've ever seen. I know this is a mod, but damn, that's that... That's a lot of damage for a grab. But now we're going to move on to a stamina break, which is very simple, guys. It's just five light into a light break. Now, this is the same stamina break for cells for those who are watching if you ever want to use cell. These are the same exact combos that are on Jiren right now. So, again, that is cell stamina break as well. Now, we're going to move on to a super and ultimate attacks. First, start now with Key Blast Thrust. And Key Blast Thrust is going to do a total of 3,011 damage. Just this Firestorm is going to do a total of 1950 damage while final cannon is going to give you a total of 3176 now for power impact i mean for brave heat we're going to have to break his stamina or turn the um what's it called the recovery off so we'll test that last power impact though is going to give you a total damage of 10237 while brave heat let's change this actually let's just turn off the recovery now let's test out brave heat Brave Heat is going to do a total of 8,485 damage. Now, that's everything for Jiren, guys. Now, we're going to move on to Goku. First, starting off with the variation that has the top, the um, undershirt on. And the second one will be with the variation that has no undershirt. So, I will see y'all uh, there. All right, guys. Now, we're on Goku. And like I said, the first time the first time around, we're going to do it with the version that has the um, undershirt on. But one thing to keep in mind with this Ultra Instinct Goku is the fact that he does have auto dodge the auto dodge ability which basically makes him unstoppable like watch this for those who have not seen the okay he's gonna get hit by that but for the most part any kind of basic attack okay trunks is not using any basic he's being smart but any kind of basic attack a grab anything like that as you guys see goku is literally just using his ultra instinct and dodging so that's something to keep in mind when you're talking about these two mods right here goku has that auto dodge function now Let's get into his all basic, all light combo, I mean. Goku's all light combo is going to give you a grand total of 3,321 damage. His all heavy combo, on the other hand, is going to give you a total of 3,234 damage. Now let's get into his light and heavy combos. First one being... 
This combo right here, guys, is 5 light, 3 heavy, and it does a total of 4,621 damage. Now we're going to go into the second combo, which is... This combo right here, guys, is 6 light, 5 heavy, doing a total of 4,645 damage. And the last combo is... This combo right here, guys, is 6 light, 1 heavy, 1 light, 1 heavy, doing a total of 5,082 damage. Now let's move on to, oh wait, for, we almost forgot his grab and stamina break. Goku's grab is going to give you a total of 2,312 damage, which again is a lot of damage for a grab. Now let's go on to his stamina break, which everybody should know at this point, which is 5 light into the light or heavy break, does not matter which one you use. Either one will work with that combo, and of course that's going to work with regular Goku as well. So now let's move on to his super and ultimate attacks. First start now with super explosive assault. Super Explosive Assault is going to give you a total damage of, one more hit, 5,826, and one thing to keep in mind with all of Goku's moves, he does have a warp function, like literally that's max charge right there, and he warps to the other side. He has a warp function with all of his moves, so just keep that in mind as well. So now let's test Burst Kamehameha, and Burst Kamehameha, the most hits you can get with Goku, I believe, is 18 right there, because... The closer you are with Burst Command Man, the more damage you're going to get, which means more hits you're going to get. And the farther you are, the less hits. But with this Goku, he has that automatic function where he uh, uses the warp feature. So you're not going to get as close as possible. So with 18 hits, that's going to do 3,723 damage. So now let's test Spirit Bomb. And Spirit Bomb is going to give you a grand total of 8,424 damage. So now let's move on to his ultimates first, starting out with Warp Command Man. Warp Kamehameha is going to do a total damage of 8,278 damage, while Super Kamehameha is going to do a total of 9,028 damage. So now we're going to move on to the other variation of Goku, the one that does not have a shirt on at all. And that variation does have the ability to go Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken times 10 as well. So he's going to be doing some insane damage. Alright guys, now we're on the final variation of Goku, the one without a top on period, and this one is by far stronger than the other one, so I'm just curious at how, as how much damage he's truly about to do. So let's start out with this all light combo, and this version of Goku's all light combo is going to do 4, oh my lord, 4,705 damage? That's just an all light combo, and his all heavy combo will do 4,582 damage. Now let's get into his light and heavy combos, first one being... The 5 light and 3 heavy, and that does a total of 6,548 damage, while the next one, which was the 6 light 5 heavy, is now doing 6,662 damage, and the last combo I showed you guys was... The 6 light 1 heavy, 1 light 1 heavy now does a total of 7,363 damage. And I haven't even gone into Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken times 10. So just imagine what kind of damage we're going to be doing in that form. But now to showcase his grab. His grab is going to do a total of 3,276 damage. That's absolutely crazy. And we're not going to showcase his stamina break because we already did that with the other one. So now let's move on to his super and ultimate attacks. First start now with uh, Super Explosive Assault. And Super Explosive Assault on this version is now going to do a total of 8,478 damage. Oh my, wow. Powerful Kamehameha. This move is going to give you a total of 6,322 damage. While Focus Flash is going to do a total of, okay, some of those missed. Let's try and get that again. I believe there's 22 hits in total. But I don't know if they're all going to land due to how close he is. Okay, we got 20 hits right there doing 6,904. Let's try one more time. And this time around, we got 20 hits again doing 6,904 damage. Just know that basically it could do some more damage if it fully lands all of its hits. I'd say around 7,500 to 8,000 damage in total. So now let's move on to his ultimate attacks. First starting out with Super Kamehameha. And Super Kamehameha is going to give you a total of... Oh, 12,630 damage. That is just OP right there. While times 20 Kyle can command, man, I'm curious about this right here. How much damage are we about to get? 13,655 damage. That is absolutely OP, guys. Now we're going to go Super Saiyan Blue Kyle Ken times 10. We're not going to just, we're going to only show off times 10. We're not going to show off the in between because that would make this video extremely long. So again, we're going to go all the way to times 10. And now we're going to redo all those things we just tested. First starting out with his all light combo. Now his all light combo. Okay, we got to get Trunks to the bottom of the map. Hold on. Get your ass to the ground, Trunks. 
Now his all light combo is going to give you guys a total of, hold on, that, that stamina break was continuing on the combo. Now it's going to give you a total of 6,353 damage. Oh my, that's just insane. His all heavy combo is going to do 6,186. The five light to three heavy combo is now going to do a total of 8,841 damage. Wow. The six light to five heavy is now going to do a total of 9,112 damage. This damage is absolutely insane, guys. Does 9,112 damage. Now let's move on to the last combo I showed you guys, which was... The 6 light, 1 heavy, 1 light, 1 heavy, almost doing 10,000 damage at 9,725. So now let's showcase his grab. His grab is probably going to do like 4,000, oh, 4,422. That is absolutely insane for a grab. That's super attack, like OP super attack level in the regular Xenoverse 2 on like PS4 and Xbox One. That's crazy right there. But now let's move on to his um, super attacks. First starting out with super explosive assault. This move is now going to give you a grand total damage of oh lord 11,445 damage wow okay powerful kamehameha on the other hand is gonna do 8,531 damage focus flash now let's see how many hits we get here with 19 hits it's gonna do 8,758 let's try and get at least 20 one more time okay we got 9,000 again and it did 8,815 so we're just gonna basically it'll do around 9,500 to 10,000 damage if you land all the hits with that move now super kamehameha this move is now gonna do a total of 17,072 damage it almost killed trunks literally in one shot like what will this times 20 kyle ken kamehameha kill trunks in one shot let's see Times 20 does 18,608 damage. If it would have added on about another 3,000, 2,500 damage, it definitely would have killed Trunks right there. But that is absolutely insane. The damage that is coming from these characters right here, especially the Ultra Instinct Goku, is absolutely off the chart. But that is the character test for you guys. Let me know down below what you guys think of these modded character tests if you guys would like to see more. Of course, leave some votes and suggestions down below so I know you guys would like to see more of these modded character tests. And I could test out anybody, guys. Any mods that you guys would like to see go up against each other, let me know down below in the comments. And again, let me know your thoughts on this new series. Well, not new series, but, you know, twist up, basically, of the regular character test series on Xenoverse 2 down below as well. And as always, thank you guys for watching so much. Thank you guys so much for all the support you guys have been given. Until next time, hope you guys have a good day as always. Peace, y'all.